Meanwhile, it was another hectic day for the People's Party candidate, An Cho Su, who campaigned in Seoul and in the southwestern corner of the nation in Mokpo. He pledged to make gender equality a top priority if he's elected and to make the Jeollado region a center of the fourth industrial revolution. Our Hwang Ojun, traveling with the An campaign, has this report. Presidential hopeful An Cho Su started off Monday attending a meeting with female leaders in downtown Seoul, pledging to make gender equality a reality. An said he will restructure the Ministry of Gender Equality and Family, starting with a change in name to the Ministry of Gender Equality and Human Rights, and that at least 30 percent of his cabinet will be comprised of women, which is the same ratio as the OECD average. He also pledged to narrow the gender wage gap down to 15 percent. Policies on gender equality should not be simply used as campaign slogans, but reflect the candidate's values and determination. Shortly afterwards, An and his team swiftly moved to the second destination of the day, in Mukpo, more than 300 kilometers away from Seoul. This part of the nation, called the Honam region in Korean, refers to the two southwestern provinces of Cholado, traditionally a liberal stronghold. This is An's second visit to the area in the last week, which observers say is highly symbolic, as it's a move not only to reaffirm the support base here, but also it could reignite the so-called An wave, a wind of support that could very well reach other parts of the country, including Seoul and the metropolitan area. Following the key policymakers of his party rallying the crowd, An arrived at Mokpo Station, and his followers erupted in cheer. An started to share his vision for the province. I, An Chol-su, will create future industries here in Jeollanam-do province. It will be this region that will lead the future fourth industrial revolution. An also exclaimed he is the only presidential candidate who can ready the nation for the future, break down regionalism, and bring about justice in Korea. With two more weeks to go until the race for the presidency comes to an end, An is expected to continue reaching out to all regions of the country until the eve of the election May 9th. Hwang Wo-jun, Arirang News.